And it's been a battle for 20 odd years. Mm. Thankfully, as I get older, it does get better. And now the bad, what used to be bad months, mm. are now just the odd bad day or maybe the bad week. Mm. But I want to ask you a question. Do you ever suffer from moods? Do you ever think, actually, my family, the people I love, are miles away here? Mm. I'm in Manchester. I'm feeling on my own. How do you handle that? Uh, so my case is a bit unique, being that I did, I have been to the UK uh, periodically for a set, like I've been to primary school in Nottingham. I went to college in Brighton and now I'm in university in Manchester. So being in, um, being here over and over and over again, the first time being with my mother, so that was in Nottingham. The second time when I came to college and it was in Brighton, uh, I was alone. So that time I did struggle a bit because it was my first time here and uh, I did not have my brother. I have my brother here with me. He's in Sheffield. Uh, I w since I was in Brighton alone, it was very hard. I was in a boarding school. It was my first time going through something like that. So I did struggle then. Now it is fine because I realize I can jump back home whenever I want to. It's not a train, <laughs> but it is an eight-hour flight. It's not the end of the world. And how does your faith come into that? How do you find that? So when you feel that loneliness now and again, mm. where does your faith come into that kind of feeling? No, I'm really happy you asked that question. So I just want to point out that the community back home is a very Christian-based community, which is why I say that it's very closed and traditional. So from a young age, I was baptized. I've been in the church every single Sunday. So I know to pray morning and night. Uh, with my parents, they would, they would call, and the first thing they would be like, did you pray? Yes, I did. So I will continuously pray up here. While it might be difficult because I can't find my denomination in the city and it's not what I'm used to, uh, it's still great to get down on your knees and pray at home. And that's what I do. And it's really, it's worked for me. I love that.